Exclusive Contracted Novel by Falu Fiction Network Dragon Ball As a judge, I abuse the Scion people. Time travel becomes a referee with little presence in the Dragon Ball, bound to the strongest arbitration system, step by step becoming the strongest referee. The World Martial Arts Conference, the Power Conference, and the Shalu Conference. Even in the World Martial Arts Conference, no one was able to withstand Qin Tian's strike. When Vegeta first saw Qin Tian, she was very dissatisfied, and when she saw Qin Tian the second time, she was very flattering. I heard that everyone is strong, but I'm sorry, I am the strongest on my arena. Xiao Quanzi. You're just an eraser, why are you so arrogant? All demons. Are you very strong? Come and kneel down. Brother, please do something. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Crossing the Dragon Ball World Caused by Mudhead Cars You are listening at NovelFull.audio On the arena of the world's top martial arts competition, a green figure and a figure wearing an orange-red martial arts suit were constantly bombarding each other. It is unimaginable that the seemingly weak human body can unleash such terrifying power, as evidenced by the air waves generated by the two punching each other. And the two people in the arena occasionally hit the sky and returned to the arena from time to time. What shocked Qin Tian even more was that their hands emitted light waves. That's right, it's the turtle-style Qigong wave in Qin Tian's memory. Watching the inhuman and terrifying battle on stage, Qin Tian felt a bit confused for a moment. The previous second, the mud truck was still ahead, and the next second, such a terrifying battle appeared in front of us. And the two figures fighting on this arena are so familiar. Isn't that the dog Kong Sang, who claims to be the strongest tearing apart Sion, and the future nanny of the Sun family? The dog's empty hedgehog head, Bix's bald head with an antenna, and the eerie looking green muscles make the recognition too high. Qin Tian's face was unsightly, and the mud cart was truly a divine tool for crossing. Surprisingly, he was sent directly to the Dragon Ball world. Moreover, judging from Bike's appearance, it is now the final venue of the 23rd martial arts competition. The plot of Dragon Ball is coming to an end, and what is about to be unlocked is the plot of Dragon Ball Z. As the birthplace of Z warriors, Earth and its people will experience endless cycles between life and death. Inema. Crossing over here is like reincarnation between life and death. What are you doing? Qin Tian felt a wave of despair as soon as he thought about the impending strong enemy that the earth of this world would face in the future. Take a look at your equipment again, microphone. Yellow hair. Suit. Got it. Isn't this the host in Dragon Ball? After understanding his identity, Qin Tian became even more desperate. Although in the future, even if the Earth is destroyed, Gokong and others will use Dragon Balls to resurrect the Earth and all humanity. But dying like this is very tiring, isn't it? As the battle on the arena became more intense, Qin Tian's despair in his eyes also became more intense. The power demonstrated by Gokong and Bike now can destroy a small city in just a blink of an eye. If calculated according to the future combat power system, the current two-person combat power is even less than a thousand, while the future enemies have no combat power lower than a thousand. You can easily destroy the stars. Not only is the future of the Earth worrying, but Qin Tian also feels hopeless about his own future. The every move of Gokong and Bike on the arena was like needles piercing into Qin Tian's heart. First. Never be impulsive. Secondly. Never miss any bad things. Third. The absolute fairness and beauty of the referee. Referee robot. Bah. The arbitration system is here to meet. The sudden sound stunned Qin Tian. What kind of ghost? Captain Dragonfly. This familiar line inevitably reminded Qin Tian of some anime full of iron bumps. 
Ding. Please be aware that this system is not comparable to those iron bumps. Qin Tian pursed his lips. Just your way of appearing almost made me think I had iron bumps in my head. The emergence of the system has greatly improved Qin Tian's originally ugly face. The system that is standard for travelers is indeed indispensable. System. What is your function? Can you make me invincible directly? Okay. It's not possible either. The system's answer left Qin Tian somewhat puzzled. What does it mean to be okay or not? This system is a arbitration system. As the name suggests, arbitration is naturally the main focus. When the host is in a hosting game state, the host is invincible. Including God of Destruction and King of All, upon hearing this, Qin Tian's whole body trembled. No one or thing could harm him. It seems that there is something wrong with this system. You should know that the level of combat power in this world is not low. There are not only super scion people, but also unreasonable beings like the God of Destruction and the King of All in the later stages. Erase as soon as you say, and the whole king is even more terrifying, using planets as glass beads to play with. No one can guarantee that if the whole king happens to fall in love with this glass bead on earth, then he will wave his small hand. The whole earth has no chance of recovery. But with this invincible state, even Qin Tian is not afraid of any misfortune on earth. No. System. Are you saying that you are only invincible when hosting a competition? Qin Tian realized that there seems to be something wrong with the invincibility of the system. Although he is currently the host of the world's top martial arts competition, in reality, Qin Tian is still a weak chicken. Not to mention the dogs Kong Sang and Bike on the arena today, even slightly stronger earthlings can kill him. Not bad. The host is invincible only when hosting a game, and in this state, even the world's destructive gods and kings cannot cause damage to the host. Dot. If I remember correctly, it seems that after this world's first martial arts competition, it will be suspended for a long time. Until the later Shaolu competition, there was a 24th martial arts competition in between, but the original work did not describe it too much. That is to say, after obtaining your system, I can only compromise and experience the Invincible Plus version, which is useless. Fully developed and used by the host themselves. Qin Tian. Dot. If the host insists on using Invincible status all the time, they can host their own events and the system can also support the host status upon hearing these words, Qin Tian almost rolled himself over with a blank eye. Host your own events and host your own events. Does the emotional system teach you how to get stuck with its bugs? But this method is actually feasible can you be a ghost? Although Qin Tian has a system blessing state, it is only a state. Spirit, physique, and Qin Tian are just ordinary humans, staying up late can lead to sudden death. Dear. Not to mention staying up late under continuous high-intensity work conditions. Thank you. Qin Tian is speechless, are there any other reliable features? When the host hosts a game, they can randomly draw the same ability, including strength, skills, props, etc., from the players on the field. At the same time, the winning player on the field can also receive a system reward. This feature impressed Qin Tian and brought him to this world of extraordinary combat power. And with his identity, it seems a bit confusing. Randomly select the same ability from the players on the field. This Qin Tian slowly turned his gaze to the dog Kong Sang in the sky, who was being beaten up by Bike. If I could extract the strength of Gokong or Bike, wouldn't I be invincible on Earth right now? However, although Gokong's strength may seem terrifying, compared to later stages, it would still be too garbage. Since it's a completely random draw, doesn't that mean I might have drawn the Scion bloodline? Sure. Upon hearing this answer, Qin Tian's gaze towards Go Kong Sang was filled with excitement. Compared to possessing the same combat power as the current Wu Kong, Qin Tian tends to lean towards the bloodline of the Scion people. 
You can say that dogs nowadays are not strong, but you absolutely cannot think that the bloodline of the Scion people is weak. Strength can be obtained through hard cultivation, but the bloodline of the Scion people can make Qin Tian's future full of infinite possibilities. Qin Tian's eyes were burning as he looked at Gokong. He saw in Gokong the infinite possibilities he was filled with. New book set sail for flowers. Please collect. Chapter 2 End of Martial Arts Conference You are listening at NovelFull.audio Once the bloodline of the Scion people can be extracted, even if Qin Tian does not have the guidance of a famous teacher like Guo Xian, he can become a strong person who does not eat beef just by relying on the strength of the Scion bloodline. The way for the Scion people to become stronger is simple, as long as they can't die, they will go to death. As long as you don't die completely, you can always become stronger. System Does the competition I am currently hosting count? Calculation Any competition hosted by the host is within the scope of the ruling. Upon hearing these words, Qin Tian's heart became very calm. As long as this game counts, there's a chance. And at the moment when the system sound fell, Qin Tian also felt an inexplicable state on his body, which made him feel like he could destroy the Milky Way with a wave of his hand. System You said if I use an invincible state to forcibly end the game, did you think there was a problem? Reminder to the host, the invincibility status provided by this system is to protect the host's safety. If the host attacks the contestants without reason, the system will directly retract the invincibility status and impose certain penalties on the host. Qin Tian was silent. He was a little worried. I just want to draw my abilities as soon as possible after the game ends. But I didn't expect the system to have limitations. However, it seems that if the referee can take action against the player, then this game will be meaningless. System If I can't take action against the contestants, what if the contestants take action against me? Can we just endure it? Please rest assured that if a contestant offends the referee or violates the rules of the competition, theoretically, the host can act without any hesitation as long as it does not violate the system rules. Qin Tian nodded. That's right. Although the responsibility of a referee is to ensure fairness and impartiality in the game, it is not without accidents. At this moment, on the arena, Bike's whole body was filled with a surge of breath, emitting an extremely dangerous aura. Even the dog Kong Sang, who was evenly matched with Bike, felt a wave of heart pounding and quickly shouted to everyone in the audience. Klin. Take the others away quickly. And the Klin group below felt the terrifying power of Bik's move even without Sun Wukong's reminder. Quickly, he led the group of ordinary people beside him away from the arena. As Klin and others left in time, a terrifying energy burst out from Bik's body. The light generated by the explosion made everyone around unable to open their eyes. As the host, Qin Tian watched with great interest. Not to mention, she is truly the future nanny of the Sun family. This strength is not something that ordinary people can possess. The moves unleashed by Bike are full of power, not only directly destroying the arena. Even all the plants and buildings on the island where the world's first martial arts ceremony is held have been directly transformed into the most primitive lusts. However, this move may seem powerful, but in reality, it is thunder, rain, and small drops. Although Gokong seemed a bit embarrassed, he also resisted this move, and Qin Tian, who was in an invincible state, had no dust on his body. The disappearance of the building brought Qin Tian, a long-lost host, back into the sight of the spectators. Although it was a bit surprising that Wukong was able to withstand the move of bike, everyone was able to accept it. But Qin Tian, as an ordinary person, was able to carry it and seemed to have not been harmed at all, which left everyone's heads hanging with question marks. The host. Klin opened his mouth wide and couldn't help but look at Qin Tian, while the others looked at Qin Tian with a surprised expression on their faces. They even saw the only green strip left behind Qin Tian. It's like an oasis suddenly appearing in the desert. 
Faced with the surprised gaze of the spectators, Qin Tian only smiled slightly and did not explain much. It seems that this invincible state is even more useful than imagined. Although Kellen and others were curious about how Qin Tian did it, they didn't have any intention to explain and didn't ask too much. After all, in their eyes, Qin Tian was just an ordinary referee, and even if there were some strange things, it was not a big deal to them. And there are so many strange people and things on earth, do they all have to investigate one by one? The power unleashed by Bike on the arena, which exhausted all his strength, not only shocked others, but also made Qin Tian tremble with fear. But in the end, he chose to believe in the system. When he came to this world, he could only rely on the system. If the system couldn't be relied on, he might as well go back to his original world and let the mud truck crush him back and forth. And the system did not disappoint his expectations. At the moment when the terrifying energy wave was transmitted, Qin Tian only felt a refreshing breeze brushing his face. I couldn't feel any danger at all. After the energy wave dissipated, everyone continued to focus on Gokong and Bike. At this moment, after unleashing all the remaining strength in his body, Bike's body was already weak and unable to sustain even his flight. Although Bike looks very miserable, don't panic, Saya can wave. When reading the original work, Qin Tian suspected that in the author's setting, there was a wave gene inherent in the Sion people. Even though Bic had exhausted all his strength at this moment, he had no strength to fight back against the dog at this moment. The fact is just like this. In the face of the storm like fists, Bike has a sentence in his heart that he doesn't know whether to say it or not. Such terrifying energy erupted, and Dog Kong surprisingly had nothing to do, even now able to suppress him and fight. But the turning point is coming soon. Although it was a steady win, Gokong insisted on turning around and gesturing to the crowd to win just one second before he was about to win. This made Bic, who had already lost hope, seize the opportunity in an instant and shoot a cannon at Dog Kong, directly piercing his chest. Ah! The pain brought by being punctured in the chest makes the dog suffer greatly. Then Bike unleashed another force and directly punched the dog into the air. But Qin Tian secretly slandered. If I hit my left chest, I'm afraid it won't be the future Dragon Ball, so I can just end up dead. Unfortunately. However, even Qin Tian, who had read the original work, had some doubts about whether Wu Kong could still turn the tide at this time, after all, his chest was pierced. That is to say, Gokong's strength is extraordinary. If it were an ordinary person, he would just hiccup at this moment. However, to Qin Tian's surprise, even though Gokong's right chest was punctured, he still stood up again with his tenacious vitality and willpower. Mad. The protagonist's halo is really a bug. Although Qin Tian's mouth was disdainful, his eyes were filled with envy. If he could obtain the protagonist's aura like a dog's air, he could also wave up. At this moment, both of the two people in mid-air were at the end of their strong crossbows. Although Bike seemed to have the upper hand, he was facing the Scion dog Kong Sang, who had the aura of the protagonist. Without any accidents, even though Gokong Sang was beaten to half death, with his superior protagonist aura, he took advantage of Bike's vulnerability in mid air and couldn't even knock him off the ground with a hammer. And at this moment, Qin Tian also understood that it was time for him to appear. Watching Bike, who had more air output and less air intake on the ground, immediately announced that Gokong had won. Congratulations to Sun Wukong for winning the championship of the 23rd world's first martial arts competition. As Qin Tian's words fell, Go Kong Song's family and friends burst into a burst of intense cheers. Not only celebrating Go Kong Sang's championship at the conference, but also thanking Go Kong for defeating Bike. If Dog Kong is defeated by Bic, the Earth will face another catastrophe. After announcing the results, Qin Tian silently retreated behind everyone. Not only were everyone cheering, but Qin Tian's heart was even more excited. System, the competition has ended, draw ability. Congratulations to the host.
the competition has ended successfully and you have one chance to draw. As this is the first time the host has successfully hosted the competition, you will receive two additional chances to draw as a reward, starting to extract abilities now. Upon hearing the sound of the system, Qin Tian's face immediately rejoiced. Originally, there was only one chance, and Qin Tian was still worried about whether he could extract truly good things, let alone the bloodline of the Sion people. But with these two system rewards added, Qin Tian believes that as long as his hands are not too black, even if he cannot draw the blood of the Sion people, it will not be too bad. Of course, it would be great if we could extract the bloodline of the Sion people. But if not, Qin Tian is not worried. After three opportunities, he can always draw something that can be used for cultivation, right? Congratulations to the host, you have obtained one fairy bean, Xian Do. Qin Tian's face was not very good. Looking. It wasn't that Xiendo was bad. To some extent, Xiendo was definitely a divine weapon, and it can even be said that giving Qin Tian an extra life was not excessive. But for Qin Tian today, it is definitely not a must. Have. If necessary, as long as we establish a good relationship with Gokong, the Kalinta immortal also has many fairy beings in his hands. The difficulty of obtaining it may not be low, but it cannot be considered very high. What Qin Tian wants now is something that can enhance his own strength. The invincible state of the system disappeared at the moment when Gokong achieved victory, and now Qin Tian urgently needs something to improve his own strength. Taking a long breath, Qin Tian could only silently pray for the next two times to extract good things. Jade Emperor, Queen Mother, Buddha bless me. I must draw something useful next. Having already wasted an opportunity, Qin Tian rubbed his hands, hoping to make his luck stronger. Congratulations to the host, successfully extracted. Chapter 3 Opportunities for Growth and Cultivation of Immortal Beans You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Congratulations to the host. Successfully extracted the basic use of Qi seeing this reward. Qin Tian was overjoyed. What is the most important thing in Dragon Ball world? Of course it's the use of Qi. As long as Qin Tian can learn to use Qi, it means he has become a true martial artist. Okay, okay. That's great. The guarantee had already appeared, and Qin Tian's tense mood suddenly relaxed a lot. Although there is no European emperor, it is not considered a black hand. In this martial arts competition, although everyone's strength may not be strong enough, they have definitely mastered a lot of things. The more things there are, the lower the probability that Qin Tian can get good things. By this calculation, the basic use of being able to draw air is already considered very lucky. Nevertheless, with this last chance to draw, Qin Tian still had a hint of anticipation in his eyes. Not for the best, but for the best. Qin Tian is not the dead pig of Wulong, he wouldn't make a wish for a girl's weight. Moreover, most of the participants in the martial arts competition are old men. If you draw a pair of old men's shorts, Qin Tian can cry to death. Girls congratulations to the host. Successfully extracted the Sion bloodline, it's okay, it's okay. Is the bloodline of the Sion people not too bad? Wait a moment. Sion Bloodline. Qin Tian's face was full of disbelief, it was the bloodline of the Sion people, although at the beginning, Qin Tian was indeed very envious of the Sion bloodline. But he also knew that the probability of this extraction was too low. With so many people present, there is so much to master. Moreover, Qin Tian did not consider himself a European emperor. If I were lucky, the mud cart wouldn't have come towards his face in the beginning. Being able to draw the bloodline of the Sion people really surprised Qin Tian. Is it a fusion of Sion bloodline, fusion? Of course fusion. Qin Tian regained his senses from the shock and quickly replied. With the bloodline of the Sion people, although the world of Dragon Ball is large, I am heading towards it. 
Although the Scion bloodline of Gokong Sang is only the lowest level warrior bloodline. But don't forget, Gokong Sang's father can be said to be the first Scion to tear apart the Scion people in history. Moreover, the reason why Gokong has achieved future success in the original work is not only due to his own efforts. And it has a very solid foundation on earth. Even Bajida, who was born with thousands of fighting forces, will only play supporting role for Gokong Sang in the future. With the foundation of the Sion bloodline and the use of Qi, Qin Tian bluntly stated that even without a system, he could still occupy a place in the Dragon Ball world with his own foresight. Moreover, Qin Tian still has a system to accompany him. The future achievements cannot be described in words. At the thought of this, Qin Tian's smile gradually turned abnormal. Ha ha ha. With the bloodline of the Sion people, who else is there? After merging the Sion bloodline, although his invincibility had disappeared after the game, Qin Tian had a completely different feeling. Unlike the invincible state, after merging the bloodline of the Sion people, Qin Tian felt the power from himself without any sense of emptiness. This was his true power. If there is a combat effectiveness detector at this time, it can be found that Qin Tian is no longer the same as before. Qin Tian has gone from being a scumbag with combat power 2 to a scumbag with combat power 5. There is no way, although the Sion bloodline is strong, the bloodline level possessed by Gokong Sang is indeed not very high. Being able to rely solely on bloodline to enhance three points of combat power is the result of Go Kong Sang's exercise over the years, and Qin Tian's body was originally a weak chicken. If we extract the bloodline of the dog from its childhood, there may not be any change at all. Even so, Qin Tian was already very satisfied. With the opportunity to become stronger, as long as we practice step by step, the road ahead is broad. What else is there to be dissatisfied with? It's just out of sight in Qin Tian. Gokong Sang's eyebrows furrowed slightly. The attraction between blood vessels is so magical. Although Qin Tian had just merged with the bloodline of the Sion people, Gokong Sang still felt a sense of warmth. However, although Qin Tian blended the bloodline of the Sion people, he did not inherit the characteristics of the Sion people, and even Go Kong Sang only felt a little puzzled. Wu Kong. What's wrong with you? Ah. Ha. Stupid. Stupid no. At the same time, a voice came from Go Kong's mind. Congratulations to Sun Wu Kong for winning the championship in the world's top martial arts competition and increasing his reward talent. Do you want to claim it? Go Kong was a bit confused and looked at the crowd surrounding him but not a single person made the sound. I said something dumbfounded. Claim it. Rewards have been distributed, please experience it yourself. After speaking, the voice disappeared without a trace. Gokong is also a bit confused, although he doesn't know what happened, it seems to be something beneficial to himself. After a moment, I forgot about this matter because of Chi Chi. With the departure of Gokong Sang and Chi Chi, the rest of the group naturally left one after another. As for the bonus the organizers are gone, and the small islands have been flattened by bike. What more bicycles do you need? I didn't let Gokong and others compensate because I was completely afraid of their non-human combat effectiveness. Do you still want a bonus? Don't mention the door, there are no windows. And how big is Boma Law? Is it that a dragon ball with the highest white wealth and beauty will lack money? If Gokong Sang works harder, can Bulma still take turns to catch up with Vegeta? As everyone left, it seemed that they had completely forgotten about Qin Tian as a person. Although Qin Tian's performance was indeed surprising in this short period of time, it seemed like a halo, and no one remembered it at all. Qin Tian naturally ignored this group of people. Now that I have the bloodline of the Sion people and have drawn immortal beings, I have the assistance of immortal beings. He can fully rely on the characteristics of Xiendo and Sion people to become stronger in a short period of time. And it's also a height that many Z warriors cannot reach. Unfortunately, there is only one fairy being, 
and we need to find a way to cultivate it. Qin Tian didn't know if it was difficult to cultivate Xiendo. What he knew was that even though the Dragon Ball world was so large, even in the later stages, only the Cat Immortal could cultivate Xiendo. If it's just like ordinary beans that can be grown in the field, that's quite simple. But if it's that simple, wouldn't Xiendo be too undervalued? Tang Tang Xiendo, as long as there is still a breath left, it can be resurrected with full blood. Planting in the fields. Are you joking? So before that, Qin Tian had to consider the cultivation of fairy beans. Then we can rely on the bloodline of the Sion people to quickly become stronger. However, Qin Tian also encountered difficulties in cultivating immortal beans. Go to Kalinta to learn from the cat fairy. Impossible. The rule of Karen Pagoda is to climb up, but let Qin Tian, who has only five points of combat power, climb the Karen Pagoda, which is at least 10,000 meters high. I can't climb a little. Moreover, even if Qin Tian gritted his teeth and climbed up, the immortal Kalin may not necessarily tell him the cultivation method of fairy beans. This is the family's ability to settle down and make a living, even if there are so many gods in the Dragon Ball world, they have not obtained it. How could you possibly tell Qin Tian such an ordinary person? It's better to find other ways by oneself. For example, Shidu is a good place to go. If Qin Tian remembers well, the Bulma family is in Shidu. And Dr. Briff, Bulma's father, is a very talented scientist. It can be said that in the world of Dragon Ball, there is currently no scientific problem that can challenge the Burma family. Even time machines were successfully developed by Burma in the end. As the father of Burma, Dr. Briff can be said to be no less intelligent than Burma, and even has a competitive edge. So Qin Tian's first stop is to visit Dr. Briff. I just don't know if the cultivation of this fairy bean belongs to the technology side or the mystery side. In theory, fairy beans are also beans. As long as they are plants, there is nothing that cannot be cultivated by scientific methods. Chapter 4 Go to Shidu, Dance in the Sky Art You are listening at NovelFull.audio Although Qin Tian was the host of the martial arts competition, the venue of the competition has now been destroyed by Bike and Wukong. The staff of the martial arts assembly are also missing, which happened to save Qin Tian a lot of trouble. Qin Tian took out a capsule from his pocket, pressed it, and a small plane appeared directly in front of him. TSK TSK It has to be said that Dr. Breve is truly one of the most powerful scientists in the Dragon Ball world. With this capsule technology alone, if we get to the original world, it may directly lead to a technological revolution. Moreover, the small plane in front of Qin Tian may seem a bit chubby, but whether it is in terms of energy or technology, it can definitely surpass those planes from previous lives. Even without a propeller, it can achieve vertical takeoff and landing. After witnessing these things, Qin Tian became even more excited about this trip. If even Dr. Breve cannot cultivate fairy beans, then Qin Tian can only honestly seek advice from the Kalin Immortal. Take a step and see a step. It's impossible to cultivate honestly, it's impossible in this lifetime. After activating autopilot, the plane transformed into a stream of light and rapidly headed towards the direction of Shidu, while Qin Tian began to study the basic application of the newly acquired Qi. This not only explains how to use Qi, but also some moves that can be used with Qi. Although there is no turtle-style Qigong wave, as long as the principle is mastered, Qin Tian can also emit similar Qigong waves, which Qin Tian did not pay much attention to. In the later stage, all waves are the same, except for special moves such as Jiwang Fist and Yuan Qi Bullet, there is no difference. But what delighted Qin Tian the most was that it actually recorded the technique of dancing in the air. As a human, how could one not have the idea of flying? With the dance technique, one can fly on their own even without the use of tools. If I remember correctly, it doesn't seem that dancing in the air requires too much strength, just mastering the use of qi proficiently is enough to fly. 
Qin Tian couldn't help but think in his heart. In the later stage of the Dragon Ball, when Wu Fan taught Bidilai to learn the technique of dance emptiness, Bidilai didn't even know what Qi was and was able to learn dance emptiness in a short period of time. Qin Tian didn't believe that even with the bloodline of a super scion, he could be no worse than Bidilai. Moreover, Qin Tian is at least a master with five combat power now. Among ordinary people, it can already be considered a superhuman existence. If you want to learn a dance technique, you are not a thief in the Book of Changes according to his memory, Qin Tian gradually felt the qi inside his body. Perhaps it was Qin Tian's innate talent, or it could be influenced by the bloodline of the Scion people in his body. In just half an hour, Qin Tian was already able to proficiently master the qi in his body. The body is already able to achieve suspension. Qin Tian opened his eyes, and the brilliance in his eyes flashed away. Good guy. Just mastering the use of a bit of qi not only teaches you the technique of dancing in the air, but also increases your combat power significantly. The increase in combat effectiveness was unexpected for Qin Tian. However, it is also within reason that the Earth Z warrior, except for Gokong, has a combat power of at least several million in the later stages, although the combat power of the others is considered too strong. And being able to have such combat effectiveness, the use of this qi is definitely a great contributor. Moreover, even if Wukong has such strong strength, there is no shortage of the use of qi developed by earth martial artists. It can be said that these seemingly basic knowledge are actually the essence of the earth's martial artists for hundreds of years. Even though it may not be as valuable as the bloodline of the Scion people, it is still one of the best. The rewards drawn by Qin Tian these three times can be said to be definitely the European Emperor among the European Emperors. It's like the kind of son of heaven, the author. Thinking of this, Qin Tian couldn't help but feel a burst of happiness. It can be said that these things in his hands are already the most valuable on earth. Suddenly, Qin Tian's plane made a sudden stop in mid-air. I saw Qin Tian fly out of the plane directly, and then turn the plane back into a capsule and put it away. Having learned the art of dancing, Qin Tian naturally wanted to experience the charm of dancing. Although flying by plane is fast, there is no feeling of flying. Qin Tian's dancing technique has just been learned, and although he has basically mastered it, it still looks a bit clumsy. When flying, it also fluctuates high and low, swaying and swaying. Ha ha ha. It's great. Flying with one's own strength, this feeling is unimaginable even in the past life. But now it only takes a few hours to travel to the world of Dragon Ball. This immediately dissipated Qin Tian's previously depressed emotions. After flying for a while, Qin Tian's aerial dance skills have made significant progress. Although the speed is still a bit slow, it is still relatively stable. Feeling the increasingly stable dance technique, Qin Tian was somewhat dissatisfied with its speed. At most, the current speed is similar to that of a motorcycle. So Qin Tian directly used the remaining qi to enhance his dancing skills. With more qi added, the speed indeed increased. Nowadays, the speed can at least be similar to that of a small airplane. Feeling the speed, Qin Tian nodded in satisfaction. That's right. Although Wukong is a popular skill in the later stages, it is also a rare skill in the early stages. How could it only have that little speed? Qin Tian felt the excitement brought by the rapid pace of this dance technique while enjoying the beautiful scenery below. Although this earth is also known as earth, it seems to have a much larger area than the earth in its previous life, more than doubling in size. Moreover, some of the flora and fauna on this earth were either extinct or completely unheard of in their past lives. But in this world, it is indeed an ordinary thing that cannot be more ordinary. Moreover, there is not as much destruction and pollution in this world, as if humans have truly achieved harmonious coexistence with nature. Although the scenery was endless, Qin Tian felt that something was not quite right. Although flying rapidly, I feel that the scenery below my body is getting closer and closer to me. 
Feeling something was wrong, Qin Tian quickly activated his internal breath. But the next moment, his face turned pale. There is already no drop left in my body. Just now, all the breath was given to Wukong art. Where else can I use any extra breath now? At such a high speed, Qin Tian couldn't imagine that if he collided directly with the ground, he might have to go to the underworld to find Lord Yen to practice. But there is indeed no extra breath in the body to mobilize. I'm Nima. Did I just cross a few hours and then die again? Qin Tian wanted to cry without tears, afraid that he didn't want to become the first scion to fall and die in the Dragon Ball world. In a critical situation, Qin Tian could only rely on the system for hope. This system only deals with arbitration. The host is responsible for resolving other matters on their own. Upon hearing these words, Qin Tian's face turned even whiter, but he also understood that the system was unreliable at this time and could only rely on himself to find a solution. Chapter 5 Falling in Ties You are listening at NovelFull.audio Qin Tian had no choice but to sacrifice his life to adjust his internal breath. As he was about to crash into the ground, with his own willpower and the strong recovery ability of the Scion, he finally regained a breath. At the same time as feeling the recovery of his body's breath, Qin Tian quickly transferred this breath to the dance technique. This time it's no longer for acceleration, but for deceleration. Unfortunately, due to the previous speed being too fast, even if a breath was called up in time to slow down, the inertia was too great. The effect of this tone only serves as a buffer. Bang! With a roar, a figure fell directly into the forest with a violent vibration. My name is Tais, and I live on the outskirts of Shidu City. I have a wealthy family, as well as a tech genius dad, a sister who inherited his tech talent, and a flower-loving mom. Today, I was just taking a walk in a primitive forest. Before taking a few steps, I was startled by a man falling from the sky. Family members who understands a man inexplicably fell from the sky, is it an alien? Ties cautiously approached and observed before discovering. Although the hair is blonde, it has black eyes and yellow skin, and from the appearance, it doesn't look like an alien. The person was a bit disheveled, but it was not difficult to see that the man who fell from the sky was also quite a good dot looking guy. It's not wrong to like handsome guys, but the way and timing of this man's appearance are a bit too abrupt. As a high dot quality human woman, she has no interest in this kind of beauty saving heroes. Even after discovering that the man was about to wake up, he stepped forward and prepared to run outside. As a daughter of a capsule company, the danger faced is not once or twice, and the wisest choice in this situation is to be wise and protect oneself. If this man is not a good person, wouldn't she have suffered a great loss? It's just a small matter to ask for money. In case of bad luck, wouldn't it be ruined? However, it is evident that Taiza's speed has slowed down slightly. Although the impact just now was quite strong, at the last moment of the fall, it still slowed down a considerable amount of impact. For Qin Tian, who now possesses impressive combat power, although this impact can make him injured, it is not fatal, it is just a bit uncomfortable. In fact, even after falling, Qin Tian did not faint directly, but closed his eyes and regained his strength. So naturally, I am also clear about Taiza's small movements. Looking at his face, it's understandable. After all, people have curiosity, but what does it mean to just run after reading it? Do you want to be responsible or not? To a scumbag girl. In this case, in this anime world, shouldn't a beauty save a hero and then have a heart-stirring love story? Why doesn't Gu Liang play cards according to the routine? With his current physical condition, although he has recovered a lot of strength, his body still feels a faint pain. You should know that this is the Yuanshir Forest, and there are no shortage of fierce beasts in the Dragon Ball world. Dinosaurs are very common. If you meet a dinosaur, you can only serve as a dim sum. So when Qin Tian saw that Taisai was about to run away, he could only hold on and shout. 
Cough don't move. As soon as Tyze took her steps, she heard a voice coming from behind. Turning his head, he saw that Qin Tian was already clear-headed and staring straight at her, with a contemptuous gaze in his eyes. For a moment, Tyze felt a bit confused. But after thinking about it, I really haven't seen this person before, and I haven't offended anyone either. Immediately, a forced smile appeared on the face. So what, handsome guy? I'm just passing by. Please help me please help me, after speaking, I wanted to take another step and leave. Watching Taisai's stealthy appearance, Qin Tian couldn't help but have a few black lines on his forehead. This mushroom cool treats him like a bad person. Qin Tian doesn't say he's a good person, but he shouldn't be mistaken for a bad person at first glance, right? Beauty. Don't misunderstand that I'm not a bad person. I just wanted to ask for your help, bad people say they're not bad, how can you prove that you're not a bad person? I. Qin Tianyu, how can this prove? Can I show you my ID card? Seeing Qin Tian's words stop, Tai Sai's mouth slightly rises. I couldn't help but think to myself. Do you still want to deceive Ben Guliang? I wonder if Ben Guliang's father is one of the smartest people on earth. Although Ben Guliang usually looks cute, in reality, she is quite clever. At this moment, Qin Tian also regained his composure. At least he was the host of the world's top martial arts competition. How could he have a few fans? Even if you're not a fan, at least you can still have an impression after saying your identity, right? Cough cough this beautiful woman, I wonder if you have ever watched the world's first martial arts competition. I am the host of the world's first martial arts competition, really not a bad person. The first martial arts competition in the world. What's going on? Looking at the puzzled expression on Tai Sai's face, Qin Tian's face stiffened. At least the conference is only held once every three years, and it is also broadcasted globally. How could this silly girl not even listen to it? This can be considered a complete deadlock. Qin Tian could only shake his head helplessly. Forget it, you go, faced with such a vigilant and inexperienced fool, Qin Tian couldn't help it. Feeling the condition of the body, judging from the recovery ability of the Scion bloodline, it will take at most one or two hours to recover basic mobility. As long as you don't encounter any wild beasts during this period, there won't be any problems. If the airship capsule had not been damaged, you could still hide inside the airship or even leave here directly. But the capsule containing the small plane was crushed into powder at the moment of landing. I can't even find any residue. Otherwise, Qin Tian wouldn't have been entangled with Tai Sai here for a long time. However, just as Qin Tian gave up, Tai Sai changed her mind. It's very dangerous for you to stay here like this, why don't I take you away? Qin Tian looked at Tai Sai with some surprise. Why did this woman suddenly change her sex? Is it a discovery of conscience? Is it so fantastical? However, Qin Tian can't control so much either. As long as the woman in front of him is willing to take him away, and he can recover his mobility in just a few hours. Thank you well when the time comes. That would be troublesome. In fact, it's not that Tai's suddenly changed her personality, although she really doesn't know about the world's top martial arts competition. But unfortunately, she has a sister who is mixed up with a group of martial artists. When two sisters are chatting, they will naturally say something that the other does not know. And Tai's only vaguely remembered Burma mentioning to her about the world's top martial arts ceremony. So it was only after Qin Tian announced the world's top martial arts ceremony that he changed his mind. According to Burma, those who can attend this conference are probably not bad people, and since they are still the host, the chances of being bad are even lower. Of course, the most important thing is that Qin Tian has no resistance at all now, even Tai Sai can easily deal with it. In Qin Tian's current state, being placed here is no different from waiting for death even if it turns out that Qin Innocent is a bad person, there is still time to regret it. However, 
Tai should be grateful that what Bulma said about participating in the world's first martial arts assembly was not a bad person, but rather about Gokong and his team. And if she encounters some other guys, such as the big demon king like Bike, I can only understand what I say. Chapter 6 Rice Drying Machine You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. With the help of Taisai, Qin Tian struggled to climb onto Taisai's airship. Just as he found a place to lie down, Qin Tian's eyes became strange. I didn't expect this to be a wealthy woman. From the appearance, although Taisai's airship is indeed much better than Qin Tian's, Qin Tian didn't pay much attention because his previous airship was originally a low.end version. Anything with a little money can be exchanged for a good airship. But after entering the airship, Qin Tian realized that Taisai's airship was not just big and simple. It's just a small aerial fortress. The console looks very intelligent, and that's all for it. But what Qin Tian couldn't bear was that there was a kitchen, bedroom, and even a KTV on this airship not including any other equipment, it's simply too luxurious. Qin Tianma calculated silently that if he wanted to buy such an airship, it was unlikely to be possible without tens of millions. With the wealth left by Qin Tian's predecessor, it is estimated that he can afford to buy some scraps. Qin Tian remained silent. I was a poor person in my past life. I thought I had some wealth left by my predecessor now, so I could still be considered half a wealthy person. However, I didn't expect to meet any woman who was so wealthy. Sure enough, wealthy people are so annoying in that world. But let alone hate it, but such a luxurious airship doesn't feel any discomfort even lying on the floor. After seeing Qin Tiantian's airship on the side, Tai's remained silent, her face constantly changing, and she said curiously. Are you okay? I see your face turning red and green soon. Qin Tian was stunned, was his performance so obvious? Is this jealousy that disguises people? It's okay, it's okay. I'm just feeling a little uncomfortable. Qin Tian naturally wouldn't tell Taisai the truth that this was caused by his own psychological imbalance. However, Qin Tian just felt a little emotional in his heart. In this world, what Qin Tian wants to pursue is no longer money, but strength. In this world, as long as you have enough strength, not to mention money, no one dares to have any objections even if you use gold to build a planet in the universe and live on your own. Of course, the prerequisite is that you have the ability. Taisai nodded, clearly believing in Qin Tian's statement. After all, as a man who fell from the sky, Qin Tian's injuries were definitely not mild, and his strange reactions were normal. By the way, I don't know what your name is yet. And how did you fall from the sky? Speaking, Tais pointed up with a silly expression on her face. Being able to fall from the sky, the terrifying impact shattered many trees in the forest, but even so, Qin Tian didn't hiccup on the spot. Even now Qin Tian is about to regain his mobility. Encountering such a strange thing, Tais couldn't help but be curious. After all, although there may seem to be many martial artists, in reality, there are only a few who truly have the ability. And with the passage of time, martial arts have gradually faded out of people's sight. Do you see that in the late stage of Dragon Ball, besides the group of people named Gokong, there are also a few humans who are aware of the existence of martial arts. In their hearts, the strongest human beings are even like Satan. In the later stage of Dragon Ball, it can be said that it is the peak or the lowest point of Earth martial arts. It's so strong that it's even going to other universes. But weakness is also really weak, and not many humans on the entire earth know about the existence of these martial artists. However, in the face of Taisai's problem, Qin Tian did not conceal it. My name is Qin Tian and I am a referee. As for why it fell from the sky, it was completely an accident. After speaking, a blush appeared on his face. This is completely awkward. Although it can be seen that Taisai does not understand martial arts, it does not prevent Qin Tian from using his toes to pick two rooms and one living room. Taisai saw Qin Tian's ambiguous words, 
but she didn't ask any further questions. My name is Tyze. Where do you want to go next? I can give you a ride. Tysai is not very kind either, mainly because she doesn't know where to go. This time she came out just to have fun, but she happened to meet Chin Tian and could follow him for a walk. Tyze. Chin Tian felt that the name was somewhat familiar, but he couldn't say it. However, I still gladly accept Tay's kindness. Thank you very much. I'm planning to head to Shidu next. I wonder if you're on your way. Shidu. Alright, Taisai originally thought that Qin Tian's destination was elsewhere, but she didn't expect to go to Shidu, which directly dampened her interest. But just now I had already released my words. It's not easy to argue back. But Qin Tian was a bit strange. Even though he was still enthusiastic before asking, how could he change his face instantly after receiving the answer? For a woman's thoughts, Qin Tian was too lazy to guess, and could only assume that it was a sudden arrival of Taisai's relatives. Gu 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 gu, with a cry, Qin Tian's face turned red again into a monkey's butt. Is there anything to eat inside? I'm a bit hungry. This is not to blame Qin Tian, mainly because from leaving the world's top martial arts competition until now, Qin Tian has not actually entered. Moreover, although the Sion people do have strong recovery abilities, the amount of energy they need to consume also increases exponentially. However, Tace is not surprised. She's hungry. It's natural for even a fairy to eat and defecate. Besides, she is also a bit hungry now. There's food in the kitchen, and I'm a bit hungry too. Let's have some together. Chin Tian watched as Taisai walked towards the kitchen, and the blush on his face gradually faded. It has to be said that causing such an embarrassing situation in front of a beautiful girl makes Qin Tian, who has the ability to save face and fruit, feel a bit embarrassed. However, Tais didn't pay much attention to these things, which relieved Qin Tian. When Taisai took out the food, Qin Tian didn't even have time to be polite and poured it directly into his mouth. The hunger emanating from his body made him very uncomfortable, and he could only use food to solve the problem. Taisai didn't expect Qin Tian to be so hungry, as if he hadn't eaten anything for ten and a half days. Although I was a bit curious in my heart, I didn't say much. The food Tais brought out was not small, and even worried that Qin Tian would be too hungry, she took more. But the speed of Qin Tian's cooking really startled Tais. Two large bowls of rice, plus six dishes, in less than thirty seconds, the plate was clean as if waxed, shiny. What is the speed of immortal cooking? Is this the legendary rice drying machine? Nevertheless, after finishing his meal, Qin Tian still looked eagerly at Taisai, with a green light in his eyes, indicating that he had not eaten enough. Taisai stared blankly at the empty plate in front of her, looking at Qin Tian's hungry and thirsty expression. He said with a bewildered expression on his face. I'll go get it for you. Chapter 7 The Experience Delivery Comes You are listening at NovelFull.audio Tais has a lot of food stored in her small kitchen, which was originally intended to be eaten by herself when going out. But I didn't expect that shortly after leaving, many foods were not even clear about their taste, so Chin Tian solved them all. Taisai's speed of taking food couldn't even keep up with Chin Tian's eating speed, so she could only watch as plates began to stack at an extremely fast speed. In the end, Qin Tian was buried directly by Pan Shan Mountain. Looking at the mountains of plates piled up in front of her, and at Qin Tian's still flat belly, Taisai's face was full of disbelief. Can humans really eat so much? Big questions filled Taisai's small head with melon seeds. They all have the same stomach, why can they fit so well? This is actually related to Qin Tian's fusion of the Sion bloodline. The recovery ability of the Sion people is indeed quite strong, but recovery also requires energy. In the absence of other sources of energy, one can only rely on food to replenish energy. Don't you see, there's not a single Sion with a small appetite. 
Even the appetite of Kling and others is quite incredible. Not everyone can eat fairy beans as a meal, just like meat packaged a sokoro. Even in the later stages, fairy beans are still quite precious treasures. So most of the time, a group of Z warriors can only replenish the energy their bodies need through food, unless it is in battle. After consuming all the food on the Taisai airship, Qin Tian barely managed to eat a quarter full, although his hunger was no longer there. What delighted Qin Tian the most was that the injury had already healed by more than half. No wonder in the original work, when a child's dog was empty, it could eat a dinosaur. This terrifying energy consumption speed is even less than that of a dinosaur. Although his injury had improved by half, the Panshan Mountain in front of him put Qin Tian in an awkward situation. Sorry. I ate a little too much. Tae's mouth twitched slightly, did she eat too much? If you only consider it a little bit, then what is more? No it's okay. As long as you're full. Uh, upon hearing this, Qin Tian silently touched his stomach, feeling half full. Is it considered full? It should be counted. The food stored on the airship was about half a month's worth for Thais, but it was eaten up by Qin Tian in one meal. If you're not full, you might be treated as a monster, right? Little did they know that Thais had already regarded Qin Tian as a monster, after all, no one could eat half a month's worth of food in one meal. Just when the two were embarrassed, a roar came. Immediately after, the airship began to shake violently, and both Tai's and Qin Tian's faces tightened. This is high above, and the sudden shaking of the airship is obviously abnormal. Although Qin Tian's injury has recovered a lot, if it were to happen again, he would have to eat that immortal bean. When the two of them came to the control room to check the situation, their faces suddenly changed. I saw a yellow combat robot suspended in front, with its smoking gun barrel proving that the movement just now was caused by this robot. Ties, your enemy. Ties shook her head. How could it be? I haven't offended anyone before. Where did I get an enemy from? I want to ask if it's your enemy. Upon hearing this, Qin Tian couldn't help but feel a sense of helplessness. Everything in this world is good, but the public security is not very good. Since it's not an enemy, it's likely a robbery. Qin Tian feels a bit sore, how can he feel that everything has been going wrong since he obtained the bloodline of the Sion people? Is the Sion bloodline really a cursed bloodline? It's amazing that anyone can encounter robbery in broad daylight however, looking at the indifferent expression on Taiza's face, it was obvious that this was not the first time such a thing had happened. Qin Tian couldn't help but ask. You seem a bit accustomed to it. Isn't this normal? Is this normal? Qin Tianfu, how poor is the public security in this world? Things like robbery are so commonplace that they even appear ordinary and unremarkable. Sit still, I need to accelerate and rush over. Rush over. Are you crazy? The most we can do in a robbery is lose some property, so we shouldn't all die together, right? Let's all die together. You're overthinking it. Don't underestimate my airship. This is an airship built by Dr. Breve himself, not something that any miscellaneous robot can handle. Qin Tian remained silent, is this money ability again? Tais looked at the robot in front of her, with a serious expression on her face, but her hands kept moving, clearly preparing to accelerate the airship to its maximum speed and rush out. With her airship performance, it is also one of the best on earth. So if she wants to leave, relying solely on the combat robot in front of her, wanting to keep her is simply a pipe dream. King Pilaf. She seems to be running. As Pilaf's first dog leg, Axiu stood in front of Tai's and Qin Tian, naturally able to detect Tai's small movements. Behind the yellow robot, Pilaf's face, covered in blue, showed a strategic smile. I had anticipated it a long time ago, Ashu. Xiaowu. Come with me and stop her. Pilaf looked at Taiza's airship with a hint of scorching light in his eyes. 
I have long heard that Dr. Briff has two daughters, and they have been in contact with Burma all along. But there are too many monsters next to Burma, just a dog empty, it's a headache for him, let alone Yamacha for personal protection. It is definitely an unwise choice to take action against Burma. After finally getting the news, Dr. Briff's eldest daughter appeared, and she was still alone in this wilderness. This kind of good opportunity is simply rare. As long as Ties is under control, with Dr. Breve's property and any ransom requested, the Palaf Legion can be rebuilt. At the thought of this, Palaf couldn't help but feel a surge of excitement. Jie 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 Jie. I, King Palaf, am finally going to have good luck once. Palaf's fantasy time had not yet passed when he was interrupted by a small dance on the side. King Palaf. It seems that Ties is about to run away. What? Ashu. Xiaowu. Hurry up and stop her for me. Yes. King Pilaf. Pilaf's face changed in an instant. Although he was ugly, short, and not very lucky, he still had some strength in commanding the Pilaf Legion that could compete with the Red Ribbon Legion before. With Pilaf's command, a pink robot and a blue robot suddenly appeared in front of the Tai's airship. Surrounded Tai Sai and Qin Tian. Chapter 8 Pilaf's Purpose You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the airship, Tai's had already pulled the control lever all the way, but the sudden appearance of two robots made Tai's face change dramatically. No matter how good the performance of this airship is, it is just an airship and does not carry any weapons. Faced with three combat robots, if they collide directly, they will truly perish together. But if you don't find a way to leave, it will definitely end today. Qin Tian looked at the two emerging battle robots with a very serious expression. One robot still has a chance to escape, three. Hang and the three robots directly surrounded the airship in a triangular shape, unable to find any angle to escape. Feeling the injuries inside my body, after such a period of time, the injuries have improved a lot. Although there is some discomfort, it does not affect flying. If it really doesn't work, we'll have to give up the airship and use the dance technique to take ties away. In that case, Qin Tian is not sure if he can do it. These three battle robots may look very rudimentary, but there are too many black technologies in this world. Who knows if these robots have any killer moves. But flying with one person, the speed was bound to be slowed down, which also caught Qin Tian in a dilemma. Ties. I know it's you. You're already surrounded by my King Pilaf, surrender now. If he wants to get a ransom from Dr. Briff, Pilaf naturally doesn't want to harm Ties. His goal is a ransom, which would not be worth it if Dr. Briff retaliated for injuring Ties. After hearing Pilaf's words, Ties's face changed dramatically. I didn't expect these robots to come towards her, it's just that this Pilaf king. I've never heard of it before although Taisai has never heard of it, Qin Tian is very familiar with it. King Pilaf. Qin Tian opened his mouth. This was the villain in the early stage of Dragon Ball. Although he was bullied by Gokong time and time again, he persisted until the later stage. Even in the end, he used Dragon Balls to rejuvenate and became a playmate for Tranks. It's just that Qin Tian can't figure it out. Based on the description of Pilaf in the original work, he's a useless guy who doesn't get up early. How could they have targeted Ties? Even if Ties has some money at home, it wouldn't make Pilaf like him, would it? Just as Qin Tian was puzzled, Taisai's counterattack had already been unleashed. I don't care who you are. Hurry up and get out of my way. If you dare to take action against me, be careful of my dad's revenge. Watching Taisai's fearless appearance, Qin Tian began to constantly recall the plot of Dragon Ball, but no matter how he thought about it, he couldn't remember when Taisai appeared as a character. Miss Ties, we don't want to harm you. All we need is for you to come with us, and when your father sends a ransom, I will naturally let you go. I promise not to harm a single hair of your hair. I can go to you, 
mad. You still want to catch me for ransom. You're just a foolish person who only knows how to sneak around. You don't deserve to touch our family's money. I think you should go back and find your mother as soon as possible. Chin Tian stared at Taisai in a daze. He didn't expect Taisai, who looked soft and weak, to have such a wild side. After a sentence, that content was extremely high. Chin Tian could only silently give a thumbs up to this, and with his language skills, he probably couldn't even beat Tais. It can be imagined how miserable Palaf was on the other side. Palaf, sitting in the cockpit of the robot, gradually turned black from blue. Immediately angry, he said. Hands on. Hands on me. Tais cursed so harshly that Palaf couldn't care about whether he was injured or not. As long as someone caught him, he would take revenge. Ashu and Xiaowu, who received Palaf's orders, were not polite and directly attacked the airship. As the hands of the three robots lifted, the black gun barrels aimed at the airship in a frenzy. It must be said that the airship was truly built by Dr. Briff himself, and even in the face of such a massive bombardment, the airship was only slightly damaged. If we just let the Paraf trio go through such a frenzy, even the airship built by Dr. Briff himself cannot withstand it. Moreover, although Ashu may seem useless in the trio, Paraf's technology is mostly produced by Ashu. If Ashio hadn't followed the wrong person, not to mention his high achievements, but at least he wouldn't have lost to Dr. Briff's highly intelligent talent. The combat robot created by such a person cannot be underestimated in terms of combat effectiveness. Lift up Taisai, who fell into Qin Tian's arms due to shaking. This is not a solution. We need to find a way to leave. Taisai blushed and left Qin Tian's embrace, pouting. Of course I know I have to leave, but I don't have a chance now. And Qin Tian didn't have time to observe Taisai's micro-expression, looking at the three robots outside and saying. Wait until you open the hatch, I'll go attract them, and you'll take the opportunity to leave first. Listening to Qin Tian's words, Taisai looked at him with some confusion. You. How do you attract them? Do you have capsules for combat airships or combat robots in your hand? But I see that your capsules are all broken, aren't they? You don't have to worry about it. You can find a chance to leave then. But. Don't be fooled, you leave first, I'll have a way out then. Although in the later stages, the Palaf trio was just a funny character, the robots controlled by the trio now do have impressive combat power. It's not realistic to leave with ties using the dance sky technique. The only way now is to rely on Qin Tian to attract firepower, and then find a way to escape. Although Qin Tian's current combat effectiveness may not be comparable to that of Gokong and others, at least he is also a man who has mastered the art of dancing in the air, which cannot be compared to these broken steel pieces. Okay. Okay. Qin Tian's unquestionable tone made Taisai forget to refute for a moment. King Pilaf. Will we beat Miss Taze to death like this? It won't be worth it then. After venting, Pilaf had calmed down and nodded when he heard Xiaowu's words. If we really kill Taize, it would be more than worth the loss. Follow my orders, reduce firepower, suppress the airship, and let her not have a chance to leave. Understood. Inside the airship, Qin Tian immediately felt a sense of joy as he watched his firepower gradually weaken. It seems that Palaf is very concerned about Tais and actually lowered his firepower at this time, which happened to give him a chance. Right now. Chapter 9 Preliminary Trial of Ox Knife You are listening at NovelFull.audio As the cabin door opened, Qin Tian quickly wielded the dance technique and rushed towards the pink robot. It's not that Palaf can't afford it, but that Xiaowu is more cost.effective. Although Xiaowu is not weak in ability, she is still a girl. Faced with the sudden appearance of Qin Tian, she was clearly stunned for a moment. And Qin Tian seized this moment and kicked the pink robot away with a flying kick. The pink robot kicking away just gave the airship a chance to leave. 
Ties. It's now. Hurry up and leave. Looking at Qin Tian floating in the air inside the airship, Tai Sai was momentarily stunned. She finally knew why Qin Tian suddenly fell from the sky. Surprisingly. Can fly. However, Tai Sai quickly regained her senses. The opportunity that Qin Tian had obtained by putting herself in danger cannot be wasted like this. Pulling the control stick that was already prepared in hand, the airship rushed out of the encirclement at an extremely fast speed. The sudden appearance of Qin Tianhe and the sonic boom of the airship froze the Pilaf trio in place. King Pilaf. It seems that Tais has run away. The speed of the airship is extremely fast, and it exploded at its fastest speed without their preparation. There is no chance to catch up now. Pilaf gritted his teeth as he watched Qin Tian suddenly appear in the air. Bastard. I know. Kill him for me. If it weren't for the sudden appearance of Qin Tian disrupting their deployment, today we would definitely have captured Tais, received ransom, re-established the Pilaf Legion, ruled the world, and reached the pinnacle of our lives. But all of this was destroyed by Qin Tian's sudden appearance. Everything has become a beautiful dream. Pilaf is now so angry that Yura is turning purple, his eyes are bloodshot, and he looks like he's about to eat people. At this moment, Qin Tian was also secretly shocked by his combat effectiveness. At first, he just wanted to interrupt Xiaowu's attacking rhythm and create some opportunities for Tais to leave. Unexpectedly, when he stepped down, he kicked Xiaowu far away and even hasn't flown back yet. This gave him a completely new understanding of his combat power. Although my current combat power is not high, I'm afraid I still have around 20 points, so I'm not afraid to face ordinary hot weapons. So, these robots can handle it. When Gokon was a child, his combat power was only around 10 points, and he was able to single-handedly fight against the Red Ribbon Legion. Now that Qin Tian has mastered the use of Qi and healed after being injured, his combat power has been improved once again. I now have at least 20 combat power points. Although I don't have much combat experience, even pure power crushing is enough to deal with the remaining two robots. Since Qin Tian had a rough idea of his level of strength, he naturally wouldn't worry anymore. Instead, he calmly looked at the robots piloted by Pilaf and Axiu. Faced with the shells fired by the two, I didn't even dodge too much. The shell landed on Qin Tian, causing him no other harm except for the pain that made him frown slightly. Not bad, not bad. Sure enough, this kind of shell can hurt me at most, but I was almost injured. After seeing Qin Tian being bombarded by shells, Pilaf was shocked to see that he had not suffered any damage except for his clothes which were somewhat tattered. This scene reminded him of the person they least wanted to think of, which was Gokong Sang. You should know that the experience points of Dog Kong in the early stage are all provided by them, and they are very clear about Dog Kong's growth. At the beginning, shells may still pose a threat to Dog Kong, but later on, Dog Kong may not even want to look at shells. Such a perverted human is truly the last thing Pilaf wants to encounter. Unfortunately, Qin Tian is such a person. Have you had enough fighting? It's my turn now. Faced with two robots, Qin Tian directly locked onto the blue robot that bombed the hardest, which was piloted by Pilaf. To capture a thief, first capture the king. As long as Pilaf is taken care of, Axiu, as Pilaf's henchman, will definitely not dare to attack, which can be considered as reducing Qin Tian's pressure. As expected, after Qin Tian attacked the blue robot, Xiu's firepower indeed stopped. Qin Tian's lips slightly curved into a smile, and it was indeed so. And Pilaf was also panicked when facing Qin Tian who suddenly stepped forward. Ashu. Xiaowu. Hurry up. Attack me. But. King Pilaf, if I attack, you will also be injured, and Miss Xiaowu has not returned yet. Dot. Then you'll beat him up for me. 
The robots manufactured by Ashio are not inferior in terms of close range, except for guns and cannons. Since neither of them can be used, they can only rely on close range attacks. Although Palaf has some fear towards people like Chin Tian, fortunately the robot still has some defense. Although the impact brought by Chin Tian's Wang Ba Quan made it difficult for Palaf to cope, his safety was not a problem. On the other side, Qin Tianwang's eight fists were so powerful that he achieved such a crushing victory in his first test of combat power. Qin Tian, who had been struggling all along, was completely satisfied to the bone. But the good times didn't last long. Although Wang Ba Quan was strong, in other words, it was just a few blind fights. I didn't even notice that a Xiu behind me was already waving a huge iron fist and charging towards him. Bang Qin Tian, who was originally enthusiastic, was suddenly thrown far away by A Xiao with a punch, and Qin Tian let out a muffled groan. Hush! What a terrifying force! Qin Tian felt the injury, and with this punch, the damage was even greater than the one caused by the bombardment just now. Qin Tian has already felt obvious discomfort. Blood has already spilled from the corners of the mouth. It seems that I underestimated these trios. I didn't expect this robot's close combat to be so powerful. However, that's all for now. After the experiment just now, Qin Tian has already known his maximum combat power, and now he mostly lacks combat experience and enemy moves. These things may not be able to be compensated for in the short term, so we can only gradually find opportunities to make up for them in the future. Now, it's time to solve the three-person group, but it seems that Xiao Wu hasn't returned yet, and Qin Tian doesn't care either. Looking at the two robots in full readiness ahead, the corners of their mouths slowly curled up. Then the whole body's breath surged, slowly converging towards the pressing hands, forming an energy ball between the palms. At the moment when the energy ball formed, Pilaf seemed to have seen something extremely terrifying. Although Qin Tian's action is somewhat different from that of Gokong, it is very similar, and the energy ball Pilaf is not the first time he has seen it. Anyone who can use the energy ball is definitely not something they can provoke. Ashu. Run. Run quickly. Chapter 10. Arriving at Shidu. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. However fast their speed may be, they cannot surpass the light waves formed by the energy sphere. A light wave swept by, and two robots instantly turned into fireworks in the air. And Palaf and Ashu disappeared with the explosion. The two of them naturally didn't die so easily, but they were ejected one second before the explosion. The pink robot that had been disappearing before also appeared at the right time and took the two people away directly. Picking up Pilaf and Asus without any hesitation, they ran away with maximum horsepower. Qin Tian naturally saw the robot driven by Xiao Wu. Although the robot had already emitted black smoke, Qin Tian no longer had the strength to pursue it. The energy wave just now has exhausted his strength. I could only watch helplessly as the trio escaped from under his nose. Moreover, at this moment, Qin Tian's internal breath was almost insufficient to support him to continue flying. Coupled with the previous punch from A Xiu, Qin Tian, who had not fully recovered from his injuries, was further injured. Feeling the situation inside his body, Qin Tian suddenly showed a bitter smile on his face. Now the body cannot exert any force at all. I knew I had saved some strength just now, but now it's really over. Just finished speaking, Qin Tian's eyes turned black and his body fell straight towards the ground. If he had fallen to the ground this time, it wouldn't have been like last time. It's hard to say if he could have left a breath. Before fainting, Qin Tian's last thought was. Xian Do can't keep it. If this falls, the damage caused will take some time to recover. The best way is to wait until you recover a bit of strength and eat the fairy beans directly. However, what Qin Tian did not expect was that Tai Sai, who had already left, would go back and forth. When he returned, he happened to see Qin Tian destroying two robots. 
then it fell towards the ground. Upon seeing this, Tais quickly controlled the airship to fly towards Qin Tian and rescued him before he landed. At this moment, Qin Tian had completely fainted and had no idea that Tai Sai had actually returned and saved him again. After Qin Tian asked Tais to leave, Tais quickly left the battlefield. After leaving, Tai Sai was extremely anxious in her heart, although Qin Tian's ability opened Tai Sai's eyes. But she doesn't think Qin Tian has the ability to escape from the hands of three combat robots. But in this wilderness, it's not realistic to find someone to help. At the speed of her airship, it would take at least two hours to go to Shidu, and it would take four hours each time. In four hours, when she comes back, Qin Tian may not have been completely cold. After hesitating for a while, Tais ultimately decided to come back and observe in the distance first. Even if it's time to collect Qin Tian's body, it's still good. At least it can prevent Qin Tian from exposing his body in the wilderness. What Tais didn't expect was that Qin Tian not only suppressed the two robots and couldn't lift their heads, but also directly destroyed them in the end, with such terrifying strength. Directly refreshed Tais's worldview. But I also saw that Qin Tian was exhausted after destroying two robots, and it seemed like he was about to run out of strength. At this moment, Tais controlled the airship and quickly took Qin Tian in. After pulling Qin Tian into the airship, Tais quickly checked his body. Fortunately, the injury was not severe, mainly due to exhaustion. This made Tais breathe a deep sigh of relief. If Qin Tian died because of her, she would probably live in guilt for the rest of her life. However, Qin Tian's exhaustion this time was even more severe than before, and he may not be able to wake up for a while. Tai Sai could only put Qin Tian away and then flew rapidly towards Shidu. Although Palaf and the others were all driven away by Qin Tian, Tais dared not stay. Who can guarantee that without Palaf, there will be a Ralph? If there were another one, Tatis would really have no place to cry. After two hours of flight, Tais finally saw Shidu and the stone in her heart finally landed. However, Tais did not make too many stops. Fly straight towards your own mansion. When it comes to the safest place in Shidu, Tais couldn't imagine that there were other places besides her own home. Dr. Briff, as the founder of the capsule company, can be said to be the richest person on earth without any exaggeration. Can the security force in the place where the richest person resides be comparable to that of ordinary places? Darling. That seems like a faint airship has returned. Bikini looked at the airship rushing towards her in mid-air, her eyes narrowed, and Dr. Briff looked in the direction pointed by Bikini. Mmm. It's indeed a delicate airship, but didn't she just leave? Why did she come back so quickly? The airship he personally built, Briff can easily recognize it, as the sound system on the airship is his masterpiece. And Burma had just returned home at this moment, and couldn't help feeling a bit strange when he heard the conversation between the two. Sister. Isn't sister not fond of staying at home? Why did she come back so soon? Burma naturally understood her sister and wanted her to stay at home, which was even more uncomfortable than killing her. And Burma likes to go for a stroll outside, and some of the influence is influenced by Tais. With a wave of wind blowing, Tais's airship had already come to a steady stop on the lawn. Dad. Mom. Eh. Balma you're also here. Sister, why did you come back so quickly this time? And how could there be any traces of combat on your airship? Did you encounter any danger? After Bulma's physique, Briff and Bikini finally noticed that the airship was covered in marks of being bombed by shells. Suddenly, a dangerous light emanated from their eyes. Cece, what's going on? Although Bridget and Bikini both raised their two daughters freely, it doesn't mean that their daughter was bullied outside and they just swallowed it up. However, Tais didn't have the heart to explain these things. Don't mention it, I've encountered a few thieves, but fortunately there's Qin Tian, otherwise I would have been miserable. Qin Tian. Who is it? Briff and the three of them exchanged a glance. 
They hadn't heard anyone else's name from their eldest daughter in all these years, and this time Tai's actually mentioned someone else's name. This was when Tai Sai slapped her forehead and remembered that Qin Tian was still unconscious on the airship. Oh my! Mom and Dad! Boma! Come and help lift Qin Tian out! Qin Tian is still unconscious to save me! Ah! Oh, oh! A few people didn't expect that Tai's not only mentioned other people's names, but also directly brought them home. This is really rare. And when Boma saw Qin Tian, he suddenly exclaimed in surprise. Judge.